As AI continues to evolve at breakneck speed, Elon Musk's latest creation, Grok2, is making waves in the tech world. This powerful new AI model is not just pushing the boundaries of what's technologically possible, it's also challenging our notions of AI ethics and responsibility. Let's dive into the fascinating as well as controversial world of Grok2 and explore what it means for the future of AI. Just after looking at these images, you must have gotten that Grok2 has basically no image content restrictions. It allows users to generate images of politicians like Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, any celebrities like and copyrighted brands Nike and Coca-Cola. Grok2 Beta Release and Company Behind Image Generator Elon Musk's artificial intelligence startup XAI launched a beta version of its latest AI assistant, Grok2, last week. The update includes an image generation tool similar to OpenAI's Dull E and Google's Gemini. However, Grok2 appears to have fewer restrictions on the types of images that can be generated. Grok2 has access to real-time information via tweets shared on X, differing from rivals like ChatGPT and Gemini that use a search engine like Bing or Google. Given that the social media platform is often used to share breaking news, Grok can potentially generate more useful responses about current affairs and recent events. However, this strategy can also equally backfire and cause the chatbot to regurgitate fake news and other low-quality X posts. Even before Elon Musk took over the platform, Twitter famously struggled to draw a line between credible sources and misinformation. The first version of the Grok chatbot was rolled out to X premium subscribers in November. The startup behind Elon Musk's wild AI image tool isn't his own XAI. It's Black Forest Labs, a German startup, makes the model behind Grok's new image tool. And the tool they are using is called Flux.1, is an innovative open source image generation model. This model utilizes advanced AI technology to produce high quality images. How to use Grok? Grok is one of the only AI chatbots that cannot be used for free. You'll need either an X Premium or X Premium Plus subscription. Even though Grok AI is developed by XAI, a completely independent startup, you can only access the chatbot via X, formerly Twitter. This is perhaps not that surprising, since Elon Musk is at the wheel of both companies, and that the chatbot relies on posts published to the social media platform. We don't know if XAI will drop the subscription requirement in the future, but AI chatbots have notoriously high computational costs. Subscription Cost Grok is charging $8 and $16 per month for their Premium and Premium Plus subscriptions. Grok's biggest competitors, OpenAI has a subscription fee of $20 and $25 for their advanced ChatGPT features like Plus and Team respectively. Google's AI software Gemini is free, but its higher version called Gemini Advanced is a paid subscription that costs $20 per month and includes more features and capabilities than the free version. It also comes with two terabytes of storage, which Google normally charges $10 per month for. Microsoft charges for its AI Copilot tool typically bundled with specific Microsoft 365 plans rather than being available for individual purchase. Apple might soon start charging $20 per month for using their advanced AI features. They might merge AI cost into their Apple One subscription. Disagreements between Elon Musk and Sam Altman Elon Musk and Sam Altman, two prominent figures in the tech industry, were once collaborators in the early days of OpenAI. OpenAI was co-founded in 2015 with the mission to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. Musk was one of the initial co-founders and major financial backers of the organization, while Altman served as its CEO. However, their relationship became strained over time due to differing visions and approaches to AI development because of differing visions and philosophies. Musk's Concerns Musk has been vocal about the potential dangers of AI, expressing concerns that AI could become uncontrollable and pose existential risks to humanity. He has often called for more regulatory oversight and caution in AI development. Over time, Musk grew increasingly worried about the direction OpenAI was taking, believing it might not be aligned with his vision of safe and responsible AI. Altman's Approach Sam Altman, on the other hand, has been more optimistic about AI's potential benefits, though he acknowledges the risks. 
Under Altman's leadership, OpenAI transitioned from a non-profit to a capped profit model to attract more funding and talent, which was a significant shift in strategy. This change was partly driven by the high costs associated with developing advanced AI systems. Musk's departure from OpenAI. In 2018, Musk stepped down from OpenAI's board of directors. While the official reason given was to avoid a potential conflict of interest with Tesla's AI development efforts, which were increasingly focusing on self-driving technology, there were also reports of disagreements over the direction OpenAI was taking. Musk later distanced himself from the organization entirely, expressing concerns on social media and in interviews about OpenAI's shift in strategy and what he perceived as a lack of transparency. Public Disagreements in 2023, tensions became more public. Musk criticized OpenAI for its close ties to Microsoft and the decision to commercialize AI, which he believed contradicted its original mission. He was particularly critical of OpenAI's move to develop AI in partnership with major corporations, arguing that this could concentrate power and reduce the democratization of AI. Altman, while maintaining a more diplomatic stance, defended OpenAI's decisions emphasizing the need for resources to achieve their goals and the belief that their approach was still in line with ensuring AI benefits humanity. Concerns over using Grok and other A generative artificial intelligence chatbot. It's no shock that Elon Musk's chatbot is starting to cross into problematic territory. After all, his other company, X, has faced a lot of criticism for promoting content that many people find inappropriate. Right now, the EU is actually investigating X because of concerns over how they handle content moderation. And just a few months ago, in May, the European Commission pointed out that X had made some pretty big cuts to its content moderation team, which raised red flags. Meanwhile, other chatbots have been trying to tackle the issue of harmful content. Gemini, for example, updated its AI image generator to make sure it's historically accurate, though it has still shown some racial biases. And then there's Microsoft's Copilot, which uses OpenAI's Dolly 3. It came under fire earlier this year for creating unsolicited content that could have violated copyright laws. Plus, Microsoft Designer got wrapped up in controversy when it was used to make a deepfake of Taylor Swift that went viral online earlier this year. Isn't it wild how AI tools are getting smarter and wilder just to keep up with the competition? Do you think European Commission or the US government will put some restriction on the AI tools, like Grot? If you think that after spending more than eight minutes, you've gathered valuable insights about Grot AI and its related information, hit the subscribe button. Also, comment with the most impressive image you've created with Grot. Thanks for watching.